Um, so you go to story sheet. We are still on story sheet. Um, three. So you go to question two. So it says the tennis player moves in a straight line path as shown in the figure P two point eight. Find her average velocity in the time intervals from. Um, so I've been given a graph like this. I'm sure you can see it on the screen. So we have got two. We have got four. We have got one, two, three, four, five. And then we have got our negative two. One, two, three, four, five. Then I've got this car moving to the four. Then it goes through two. <coughs> ends at negative two. Sorry. Um, goes all the way up to four. Then ends at five. So now this is the distance in meters. This is the time in seconds. So now we're being asked to say, um, find. Um, so A is from 0 to, from 0 to 1.0 seconds. So from here up to here, um, let me draw this line. So now from, um, 0 to 1 second, what's the average, what's the average, um, velocity? So we know that the average velocity is simply... Um, half base times height for this case there are two ways that you can, you can use the first one is velocity is given by um, change in distance over change in time so for this one you're going to say um, your velocity is going to be given by the change in distance is just um, zero the change in distance is distance let me let me put this one here distance final minus distance initial over time final minus time initial so the distance the, the distance final is um four distance initial is zero initial distance is zero then the time we're coming from um we're coming from zero to one so the final distance is one initial is zero so i have like that so the velocity here will be equal to four meters per second then we go to b the b part of the question um it says from zero to four seconds so from zero to four seconds so now here we are going to look at um the velocity is equal to the final distance the final distance here is negative two the initial distance is zero um the the then the time the initial time is the final time is four of course then the initial is zero so then now we're going to have our velocity being equal to 0 0.5 as a negative meters per second then we go to c c um c we're going to use the same formula velocity is equal to um c we are going from one to five seconds so we definitely know that our final time is five our initial is um one then our distance the distance at five is the final at final i've got zero then at one we have got four as our, as our distance so that's negative minus four then the final answer will be um here i'm going to have a four they already have a four so i'm going to have negative one meters per second then we go to d um d it says from um 0 0.5 from 0 to 5 seconds so from 0 to 5 seconds so the velocity will be given by the um final time is 5 the initial is 0 the final distance at 0 the distance is 0 at 5 the distance is also 0 so having 0 minus 0 which will be 0 over 5 which will just give us 0 meters per second and this is the average um this is the average velocity not the velocity at 5 but then the average velocity and so that's how you can go about this question um we go on to question 3 